let's take a look at how employees bring employment cases. In a few situations, employment laws are enforced by government agencies at their own initiative, such as when OSHA elects to inspect a workplace based on an occurrence of a serious accident. However, as a general rule, both the courts and government agencies rely on employees to come forward with complaints before enforcement actions are undertaken. Thus, the decision of an employee to challenge some action of their employer is a key part of the enforcement process. Although there are undoubtedly some frivolous claims brought against employers, it's a mistake to assume that most employee complaints are baseless and rooted in opportunism. Contesting one's employer in the legal system is an expensive, protracted, uncertain, and emotionally draining process. Most likely, the cases that are brought up are just the tip of the iceberg. Most employees who have their rights violated by their employers do something other than take legal action. They quit, join a union, withhold discretionary effort, just let it go, or talk it over with the employer and work things out. Ultimately, our system of employment law depends on employees being willing to come forward and assume the burden of taking legal action.